Well, the Everest fleet is still useful for now, and we have a new FM target. Hey everyone, Derpy here, welcome back to another Battle Pirates video. I'm going to show you my method for the level 176, although to be honest, I haven't thought too much about it, and I've mostly just been autoing FM targets, not even caring which one. I like to start out by taking out this patch of mortars and then going over to the right very briefly to grab this next ship. And these things should all be no damage whatsoever. Your antis take down 100% of the mortars and most of the anti-missile or most of the missiles. There's a little bit of damage from those, but it shouldn't be too bad. Once that right side is clear, I'm going to loop around to the left, grab this ship so it doesn't remote target off at me the entire time, and work my way up, as you saw on the thumbnail, through, through the whole left side of this target, hide behind these mountains from these rockets, and work my way all the way around. There are a lot of ice fields in this target, which I'm not the biggest fan of because it means things take longer, unless you coin the X1 upgrade, which I have not done. And... As you're getting targeted and targeting these different ships here, make sure you stay moving at all times here, head toward these brimstones as quickly as possible. If you take those out early, you'll take the least damage. If you wanted to, you could also split your ships up against the different brimstones so when there is splash damage, you take less of it. Just something to keep in mind here. So I'm going to head towards this next brimstone, try and grab that before any of these heavy turrets get me, and there are quite a few of these in this target. You can see a whole bunch of different lines here. If you wanted those to go away, all you have to do is hover over the lines, and they will leave quite quickly. Just be aware of that. Also try and use these mountains when possible to block the missiles, because missiles do not shoot over these mountains in this target. Against this thunderclap here, again, I'm going to try and stay moving, use these mountains on the right of my ships to block those off, and I should take less damage if I do that and nothing is shooting at me. The rockets really aren't too much to worry about because you can block and reduce damage. The big parts to worry about are actually the brimstone missiles, one of which is shooting at me right about now. You will notice all the mortars on my ship are blue now, which means they're all limited. And my ship is U1 flagship, most of the other stuff is U2, although one ship is still actually at U1. I would not be surprised if the next tier 10 garrison fleet came out in the July raid, as we didn't have it in the May one. I've been saying it will be May or July for quite a while now. Although, of course, that is just a guess. Alright, try and focus the brimstone first. Take that down before any of these ships here. The ships are important to take down, so you can actually get toward and keep moving against the second brimstone that is shooting at me right now. And again, there aren't really any benefits to using these mountains right here, because you only avoid damage for just a little bit of time, and the thunderclap is going to shoot at you, and you can't actually block it off. But if you want to try and hide behind this one single one, it may be an option there, although the turret will probably be probably be dead by the time you get there. So if you're interested in driving the target, that's just about what it looks like. As long as I come back for these few brimstone or these few vulture missiles on the top right that are still hanging out here and are not quite dead. Notice I'm not using a crew here. A steelhead's crew would be helpful as would, I assume, a Molotov Maiden to help increase your splash and your spread, which would help you kill more things at once. Maybe the entire island from just one turret in this case. Let's go ahead and check the build, the battle report, and the damage, and we'll see how bad this thing was. Alright, looks like the damage is about even explosive and penetrative. Maybe I took too much dam damage from the brimstones here, so I should try and do a better job at killing those more quickly. And of course, everything I did was explosive. Total repair time of 52 minutes, which seems high until you realize you can get through probably about 12 of these targets and get 12 times 19,000 points, which if you do the math is quite a lot, almost enough for the entire FM on auto even in one go. As I said, my ships are not fully upgraded, definitely not X1. I have a U1 ship, U2, 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 and the flagship is up to U3, that is an anti-mortar tank ship. Alright, well if you do have any questions, go ahead and let me know. Thank you to the channel members who are supporting the channel. And as always, this is Derpy signing out, helping you be a better pirate.